everyone welcome back to another exo zeros video so today's video we are discussing rework so we're we're actually um in the midst of um a release for the rework of garf so while we're at it i'll try to discuss with you guys a rework for all the generals that are present i'm not saying that all generals need a rework but who needs the rework the most okay to get it out of the way there are actually four heroes that don't need a rework right now so you have janai janai's kit has been very good ever since um they gave her her fate core next would be fc schmidt of course um very op fate core uh, needs no rework at all next would be fc garf who recently actually got um, a rework for his FC and for his base kit or his fated form. And the other one, some of you might actually <laughs> won't agree with me, but I think Rachel's kit is actually good already. Um, doesn't need a rework. In fact, Lenombi is actually well balanced right now um, and more or less has taken the lead in terms of nation and has dominated PvP. So Rachel will have to skip his rework so that is four of them um the ones that actually need um fate course are dorka prithiof and carry okay so let's go first to dorka's um they don't need a rework technically they just need their fcs but what do they need in terms of their current kit so dorka's passive is actually very it's it's more or less balanced already um i think she needs another another because more or less they'll be tinkering with her kit probably another passive because we're already expecting that aside from her original passive um i think that's it for her skills s1 and s2 i think these are very good already um except for Probably S1. Um, without the niche potential, her S1 is actually a plain damage over time effect uh, with bleed. Um, S1 could have a good up, you know, upgrade in terms of her FC when it's out. Her S2 is actually good already, so no need here. So uh, for Dorka, a a good addition for her S1, probably. I don't know another you know another effect whatever but it needs to have it actually needs a a kind of a, a small touch of you know touch of being very you know being good not not just average and again for her passive it's going to be i'm sure they're going to give an additional passive once her um fc is going to be out Next would be Prithiof. Oh, sorry. I'll go next to Carry. <coughs> I'll go last with the Prithiof. So Carry, where is Carry? She's so Carry. Where are you, Carry? Carry. Um, first first impression of Carry's kit was actually good enough. Um. We can see here she has Man Utilization 3, which is good. She has uh, obviously Flow of Mana. Bramble, which is a flex target with less attack than self with Bramble. Uh, uh, decrease health regeneration of all enemies by 20%, which is actually good. Rosa Multiflora, decrease health of target by 3% for 10 turns when target has a Bramble mark can't be stacked. Again, once she gets her FC, I'm sure they'll be adding another line to this. I'm not sure what is feasible for her at, th at this time. But again, um, for Carrie's kit, she is actually complete already in terms of passive. Uh, Well-built passive. For her S1, um, Nullify Heal. Uh, it's an AoE skill. So this is actually good already, even if the damage is small because it gives a status effect. But for her S2... I think this is good enough. Burst scale, burst damage, um, nine, seven fifty percent damage to one enemy. Again, um, no, no, no adjustments needed. I think I think she just needs to have a good addition to her passive as a general. So, 
a uh, small adjustment for for carry for her FC. Um, the last would be Prithioff, and I saw him already. He was here. So for Prithioff, um, I like the design very much of um, what what they you know the design of his armor, costume, and the theme as well. So. For Prithioff, he has Thrust 3, similar to Shufraken. Again, they have Breath of Mana. Build Formation, which is the unique passive of Generals. Grants Build Formation. Mark on ally with lower defense and self. Increases health of Mark ally 50%. So, more or less, he's built on, on being tanky defense. Um, I haven't seen him in action. Uh, I haven't seen anybody use him yet. So S1 would be a single target damage spell and stuns one enemy, one enemy except a target with the highest attack and is not affected by blah, 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 blah. Okay. So again, for for his S2 required mana, okay, deals 255% damage to all enemies. So for him, um, FC wise, I think they would, they would have to go with um, Dick. I think can give an additional effect for his skills if they go, want to go on the defensive side because again he's built for defense so if they would just you know um up his uh, let's say his s2 into giving it more a defensive uh, defensive touch additional defense or probably additional health similar to to redley he will be actually very good so for FC wise, more or less, um, that is what he needs. Okay. So more or less, I've covered Dorka, Prithioff, and Carry. They all need FCs, and the kit is actually right now in terms of average. Only I think Dorka is above average for the two. Um, Carry, I hope they just put Nullify Heal on her S2 as well. So more or less, that is what they need so looking forward to either fc of dorka or fc of carry soon hopefully soon for the community next is the last two that i'm going to discuss which will be shufraken and bathory these two need a lot of love in terms of their fc their faded hero kit they should have an upgrade by this time and they should get the rework already so let's start with uh, Shufraken. So for Shufraken, he has Thrust 3, Breath of Mana, Fear of the Abyss, which is actually okay. Uh, Afflicts target with, with less defense than self with Fear of the Abyss mark, okay, which has been very good uh, before. If target has 10% or less health at the end of the turn, deal 65% damage to all enemies in the same row i think th this one the second paragraph of fear the abyss should be reworked already the deem the the um, i think the the 10 percent or less should be increased already probably at 20 because again um the meta right now is actually very tanky that uh you don't get to have multiple heroes uh, already at 10% and trigger off uh, Fear of the Abyss and the damage as well. So I suggest they tweak this 10%, um, uh, probably take it to 20 at maximum 20 or 15%. Then the damage as well, um, the damage to all enemies in the same row should be upped as well. Because again, um, Shufraken before was a very good threat, not only in defense, but also for this passive of his. Um, this should be reworked already. So, and the rest actually is still good. I don't think I have a problem with his other pa other passives, except for Fear of the Abyss. Um, <clears throat> let's go to his S1. So, 300% damage to one enemy afflicts target with the spell and suffering. Mana burn one. Um, okay, the, the, the improvement for this one is probably increase the mana burn. Because if it's going to be only one, um, this is not really... It's It doesn't have an impact on the game at this point. So th there are a lot of mana sources that, you know, that a hero can get mana from. And 
the mana burn one is actually negligible and i would suggest you probably increase that to two or i don't know it's actually a suggestion um you have to make his kit more impressive more more of a something that people will fear rather than just you know relegate him to the side and for his s2 <coughs> i would also suggest this is actually a good spell um this is really good the one thing that i am uh, not good with this is uh it's all on the back row so um i would you know i would suggest that this be upgraded to all enemies uh because again shifraken has you know already been dropped in terms of generals and uh, his usage hasn't been the same ever since the, you know he was uh, one of the sought after generals in the meta before but again those are just my opinion guys in terms of his rework passive rework for for fear of the abyss s1 rework for probably additional mana burn and this should be all you know all enemies not just back row enemies so again um i would suggest exos could take the conservative approach just a little bit of an increase but i'm not sure what they're going to do but i hope they do um upgrade or rework shifraken soon Okay, last for the rework discussion would be FC Battery. You actually guessed it, guys. Um, she's actually on the thumbnail already, so very obvious. So, uh, more or less, she's she has a good passive mana utilization. Very good for you know for AOE damage uh, dealers with burst, especially. Breath of Mana, <coughs> standard for mana production. Tranquil. <coughs> Tranquil has been, you know, has been um, questioned by the community in terms of is Tranquil still good? Is Bathory still one of the best heroes? Um, she is, but again, Tranquil is going to. I don't know if they could still tweak Tranquil, um, because of Signature Force right now. Tranquil is uh, more or less not effective anymore. It's. From my end, I think she's 50-50 effective with Tranquil. So probably they could have another rework or probably put it as is because before, even before, she was very powerful to deal with. And most of, of the players have Bathory and used Bathory because of her Tranquil skill. But again, this can be reworked just a little bit of a... I'm, I'm not sure what kind of tweak, but more or less try to tweak it to... A 75% utility now it's at 50%, and more or less, um, anybody who has signature force can just kill off a you know tranquil uh, with their enemy. So, next would be Heming Leva. Heming Leva, yeah, overtime effect increase health of all allies except the caster by 20%. This actually could, inc could include battery if um, it's just 20%. This would be a big help to her. Um, I would actually think that if there's a rework, I think they could add to the passive. Not sure yet, but again, she just needs a rework in terms of um, returning her to where she was before. For her S2, I don't think there would be a, you know, I would recommend any rework. But for her S1, I would suggest putting... An effect here this actually moby dick i don't really use this as much because the damage right now for the meta is very the damage required to take down heroes or enemies is actually big already and for this even if it's a one mana mana spell even if you spam this this doesn't make a dent on your enemies um this actually is just a removal of summer's blessing when you have valentine on the team that's actually the purpose but again this spell would be good or this skill would be good if it was added some kind of a status effect probably a a freeze or whatever um this would be good this would give her more utility uh in terms of damage in terms of uh gameplay in terms of turn manipulation so again 
I think um, this would be good for her. Okay, so I've discussed more, almost uh, more or less every every general that we have. Um, we have nine generals, and guys, please in the comments below, I would really appreciate it if you could give me your thoughts on who needs a rework, on who doesn't need a rework, and what do you? What is your wish list basically? If a certain hero needs a rework, what is your wish list? Put them down in the comments below because I want to hear from you on what you think, what type of skill would like to add to that hero. Let's discuss this, guys. Let's let me, you know, let me have your opinions. Um, so far, again, the ones that I discussed is actually purely my opinion, and more or less, it's um, it's it it. I think it makes sense. But if you think I don't make sense, then put it down in the comments uh, section below as well. Okay, so again, thank you guys for having supported me for this channel. Um, but still, around 79% of my viewers haven't subscribed yet. So please do. This helps my channel a lot. I'm now at 888 subscribers, nearing 1,000. So... I need this i need the love i need the support um hope that i could give you very good and quality content content more in the future okay again i need your support guys anyway take care stay safe this is the warden happy weekend and i'm out of here